Welcome back to Buxton 2.0, where you can see we're actually second favourites to win the league this season behind Darlington. I thought I'd start on this page um, to show you how improved we are compared to last season. Uh, let's take a look at some of the transfers, shall we? First of all, let's go back to last season. You can see Scott Bowden left us on a free transfer going to Radcliffe and uh, Paul and Lyndon both left as well, Lyndon retired, um, he has joined us as a scout, and then started the season, Bunn, Malt, Gilchrist and Dawson all left on free transfers, Bunn did not want to sign a new contract, so we, we let him go. Um, in terms of incomings though, we've been very busy since the end of the season, first of all, Scott Godden joined us on a free transfer from Leeds, he is a very young left back, 18 years old, and um, plenty of promise. I think he's a very, very good left back as well. Um, a couple of things that we can do to improve him, but I think he's going to be a good squad option in the future. Uh, also, well, all of them have been on freeze, but Reese Kendall joined us. He was formerly of Spennymore, Matlock, Geisley. He's been around to say 23 years old another left back you can see why i thought our weakness was this season um he's come in as more of a first team option um and will probably play a fair bit at the moment when i say he's been around a bit you can see how many teams he's played for um considering he's only 23 years old uh then also justin hanks from nottingham forest he can play right back or center back he is very very good for this level 18 years old plenty of room to develop um six foot so a little bit smaller than i quite like from center back but he is he's a very very good player i wish it stopped going to that page uh then freddie price from marine also joined us he can play across that front line um or top as well with bun leaving we decided to bring in um another player that's been around a decent amount and um, formerly played for Morecambe in the football league so he's going to be the football league experience the 21 year old very very good player very good player uh, then after that it was Todd Alcock released by Aston Villa uh, can play in the central of midfield or centre back as well another one for the future 18 years old uh, plenty of room to grow for him as well pretty good free signing for us and then finally before the season ticked over Luke Burke um, joined us on a permanent obviously he was on loan with us from Fyord we made a bid for him he's come in and uh, we kept him permanent going forward Sean Newton did leave us he went to Maidstone on a free transfer and the 34 year old we bought in a few left backs he could play since back but we've got plenty of players there as well um, I would have quite liked to have kept him around um, for some of the younger lads, but we we weren't going to stand in his way. We were letting him play some football. And then a couple of real star signings, in my opinion. Casey Petit, free transfer, formerly of Luton Town, uh, the 20-year-old. He is going to be a very, very good midfielder. Uh, very good midfielder. I think we could probably sell him on for some decent money if we can develop. I think he's going to be good for us at this level. And then this one was really our marquee signing, Alex Gibson Hammond on a free transfer. Um, he can play again across that front line, 20 years old, formerly of Nottingham Forest. Look at his, his star ratings, I think you shouldn't judge by that. Um, but he is very solid for this level. Um, he's a National League standard player, so he's, he's you know, the division above us, potentially League Two. Another player I think we could get some good football out for a year or so and then potentially sell him on for some good money um so yeah that's all our dealings this time around and we've been drawn against darlington for the first game of the season we are at home so this is a chance to really test our metal against what is meant to be a promotion candidate then we've got chester in our second game in terms of the club vision, they want us to be in the playoffs again this season. First time proper of the FA Cup and be competitive in the FA Trophy. We are improving the youth facilities as well. Um, and we're within the ways budget, we need to grow the reputation and we are signing players under the age of 23. The supporters, again, just want to get the better of Macklock and make progress on off the pitch. They don't really have any expectations for us in the league. So not very much pressure on us there. But without further ado, let's get into league football. 
Uh, we've got McGough, Gough, Goals. I think this gets the best out of our players. Um, we have changed a couple of the roles. Both of the entire forwards are now on support, uh, as is one of the wing backs with Leberg on an attack. Uh, Petit is on support as well there. So, yeah, I mean, this is the team that we're going with here. Richardson, Burke, Mohamed, Hanks, Kendall, Kirby, Petit, Gibson, Hammond, Tazdemir, Durnley, and Di Girolamo. And, yeah, I think this is a team good enough of definitely pushing for promotion. Um, probably even by winning the league, I think we are a very, very good team. This will test us here against Darlington. Um like I say they're predicted to be top of the league according to the media by the end of the season so it is a real test for us it's been a couple of bids for Kirby over the summer as well but we managed to keep hold of him and um, he's not too upset about it either so that I think was crucial as well but like I say opening day of the season I don't really know why it's shown the league table because there's nothing to see there pull up the league table ourselves and we are at home so maybe should give us a slight advantage uh but Darlington will be very very tough as you can see so far in this opening 20 minutes it's relatively even we haven't really seen any highlights they're just starting to shade possession but we're having the chances not a single one on target though Darlington with the first highlight with the free kick which played short back to Jonas in his own half Mahovo little space on this near side Burke steps in well Mohammed Gibson Hammond it's not the best ball but Burke wins the header Gibson Hammond once again Kirby bats Burke can he find a cross can it's headed clear Gill Hazel and now the space to run into for Darlington Lambert is into the area and blazes over and we are going to encourage here with 15 minutes left of this first half corner to defend it's Lambert to take he delivers in we head clear Nixon over near to go what a goal that is from Tom Nixon and um yeah we've gone behind gibson hammond is frustrated by being encouraged he's not putting in the best performance not the best for our marquee signing hazel kept it alive played it back to nixon dj Malala can't get there it's a wonderful finish but defensively pretty poor we shouldn't be letting that happen from a corner and we are going to demand more now But we are going to go in half time, one up down, and without a shot on target. And I'm going to flash my arms and tell them to get their acts together. Um, we're not going to make any changes, though. There are probably too many players not playing very well at this particular moment in time. So no changes for us there. But we are going to see what happens with this corner. And we have scored, and it's Sir Mohammed at the back post. It was a mistake by Taylor. And that is actually Mohammed's first goal for us. He didn't score at all last season, but has his opening goal for us here. It was Kirby's corner that delivered in, and it was, I mean, it was Hank's header. It was saved by Taylor, but it's a poor save to palm it to Mohammed at that far post. It just tap into the air, sorry, tap into the goal, and it is 1 1. And now, with half an hour left to go, Kendall is going to come off for Godden. Uh, DJ Alama, we are going to switch with Tazdemir and bring on Hardy in his place. And we are going to take off Casey Petit for Todd Alcock there as well. Um, Mohammed looks to bring it forward. It's Kirby. I can't imagine this is going to come to anything. It's just a highlight from us making changes. Indeed, it is. It's gone out for a corner ball. Gibson Hammond on a 6.2 average rating, not the best for his debut. Um, we ex well, I expected more from him, even though he hasn't been with us long. It is his first game, but I did expect more out of him. Burke, who's looked pretty good so far in this game from what we've seen. It's a great ball for Tastamir, and its header is just wide of the post. It's a wonderful header from that distance. Free kick now. It's Tastamir once again. He's going to hit this. And just over the bar as well we just start to come a bit more into the game we have encouraged them and 15 minutes to go we have become the better team in this game can we find a winner we're going very attacking for these last 10 minutes we're going to demand more 
can we find a winning goal with stoppage time to play which is three additional minutes we're not getting in the highlights i think we're going to get share the point here we are yes 1-1 one, one. um disappointed probably should have won that game uh, gibson hammond though i'm angry with how you played it wasn't good enough at all but we did get a share of points um, and that's not too bad it's a team that like i say we should be challenging up at the top of the table um i think we probably were the better team so a little bit disappointing but i think we're in a good enough position i really do think we're in a good enough position only a couple of days before we play Kettering, and that's coming right up next so just the one change going into this game brisley comes in at center back Banks looking in just yeah, a little bit of rotation um, their price comes back onto the bench following his injury as well uh, I don't think it'll be long before we're seeing him starting so yeah uh, just a one change I think we played well enough last time out um, Kettering lost their opening game of the season so there we go it's a match we should be winning um, let's make sure we do not as many players complacent going into this one uh, Kettering Playing with five at the back system there you can see uh, obviously we know our formation here as well uh, after our point in that opening game and Kettering currently sit down in 21st position losing by a goal in their opening game um, we can't really afford to be dropping point to them no disrespect to Kettering uh, but we need to be winning this game if we are to be hitting our targets at the end of the season, I know it's very early on in the season, um, but I don't want to have to be chasing this season like we did last year. Here's Burke bringing it forward, Castamere into Gibson Hammond. First, we've seen of him into the area, shoots, and Gregory pushes it over the bar for an early corner to Buxton, which will be taken here by Kirby. He delivers and headed clear. And Bell with a potential counter attack on McDonald into Bell, Tate, and McDonald carried his run and he has space to run into now. Back to Bell, it's a great ball through to Tate across to Marsh Hughes, and we've conceded from what was their own corner and we've been hit on the counter attack. Yep, that happened. We are demanding more very early on there. Um, and you know we've got plenty of plays back here we've got six plays back but just nobody tracks a run and marsh hughes just taps home there and uh yeah unacceptable start to the game kirby's picked up a book in as well early on Burke looks forward tells me he's not going to get there though Bell out to redmond plays in behind for marsh hughes Brian Brady and he's just over the bar as well and uh, this is not working out well for us there goal kick out to Kendall who I was supposed to bring forward tries to find DJ Alamo but it's not the best ball Kendall to Petit he tries to find Castamere he does and it's a poor finish it's a very poor finish from him and he perhaps should have squared that to DJ Alamo who's anxious in this game and um, we're berating them early on because uh, this is unacceptable so far corner swing in keeper punches clear DJ Alamo picks it up he into the area and he's fouled to there and we have a penalty um silly defending really very silly defending Dernley taking it and he's saved by Gregory Dillon's gonna get it to rebound doesn't shoot and instead gives up a goal kick yeah just when you know it's not going to be your day bell with the free kick we head clear tate petite back to the goalkeeper we're just going to get very attacking and so we've got nothing to really lose here kendall looks to dj Lama, who's on a booking gibson hammond DJ Lama, there's a man out left, he can find him. Speaks his man, keeps going himself into the area and finds the back of the goal. And uh, it's a wonderful throw after that one. I was about to criticise him for not passing here. 
as soon as he shifts past his man here, I thought he was going to play that pass. Instead, the dummy run comes, beats a couple of players. That's a wonderful solo goal from DJ Alamo. We're back on level pegging. It's 1-1. And um, I feel kind of bad about berating now. We're going to encourage. Yes, Dylan Lee is a play well, but he's missed a penalty. Um, we're not taking him off in the first half. Corner to defend. Richardson claims well. Brisley out for Kendall. Back to Brisley once again. He looks over the top. Matthews heads clear. Tazdemir picks it up though. Kendall into for Durnley. Not going to find DJ Alamo. Tazdemir once again on the ball. He finds DJ Alamo and it's a good save by the keeper. It's going to fall back to him and he's hit the post, I think. And scramble clear, and now enough potential counter attack is on. Mohammed stepped in well. We've got a couple of bookings here, but Donald is down for them. Durnley for DJ Alamo, and it's a wonderful save by the goalkeeper. Incredible save that is. And uh, we have a corner. McDonald is getting some treatment here. So they're going to be down to ten men while we take this. Which means there's a man free on this near post. It's headed clear though, and Belly's going to get to that. Switches it for Tate. Bikari, and that's going to be the end of that highlight. Um, and I'm already thinking ahead to my half time changes. I think Mohammed, Burke, and possibly Bruce Lee are going to be the three. Dernley, Gibson Hammond, and we have the lead. Gibson Hammond has his first goal for this team, and uh, it's Dernley with the assist, making up for his penalty miss. And on the stroke of half time, we have the advantage. Great ball over the top. Dernley does well, picks his head up, finds Gibson Hammond, who picks out that bottom corner. 2 1 for Buxton. This is a highlight straight from kickoff, though. Smith, yeah, his left back role looks forward. Mohammed, poor header clear to O'Brien O'Brady. Bell looks forward. Richardson should play in. Two additional minutes in this first half. Mohammed. Burke to bring it forward. Tries to pick out the Jolamo. And now Tate is in behind here. Tate, one on one to keep her and instantly equalises. And it's 2 2. And uh, we are going to ask them to stay on their feet. It's dropped by the defensive line. We're picking up a couple. Too many bookings for my liking. It's a simple ball over the top. And uh, Grizzly just doesn't track his man. And yeah, that lead lasted a minute. Half time, 2-2. Two -two. We are once again fresh in their arms. Tell them that this is not good enough. Burke is going to come off for Hanks. Uh, Mohammed, we don't really have anyone to switch with. Goodrich, I think he's going to play centre back. We are going to have Goodrich playing centre back. Um, and Kendall is going to come off. So all the changes are going to be defensive. Do I take a risk actually here? Yeah. I'm going to move Goodrich. Forward. Okay, he's no good as a half back either. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll keep him as he was then. I think he was if he was betting on defensive midfield role as a half back to stick in there and get him basically playing as a centre back. Gregory's ball forward. Hill. Hanks steps in, finds Gooden. Dern leaves to Tasmi a first time. DJ Alamo was on side, I believe, and it's a poor finish. We're going to encourage, and I'm actually going to go balanced here. All over the top, and Bakari picks it up. He looks downfield. Kirby steps in. Dispossessed, and he's going to get sent off. That is not ideal. Oops. 
what do we do now? Petit goes in there as a ball winning midfielder. Both of these drop back as defensive wingers. And we are now in the position of basically trying to see this out. And let's go into a direct counter attacking style. Pull back and a full back. So, yeah, we're just trying to see this out now defensively, basically. Uh, have the two up top. But we've basically got all of the second half to play with 10 men. Richardson looks downfield quickly for DJ Alamo, who he does pick it up, has space to run into. Cuts inside, it's another shot straight into the hands of Gregory. And DJ Alamo probably should have had three or four in this game. We've had 12 shots on target, 13 shots on target. Um, really shows how well Gregory's playing in their goal. We are going to berate. Not gone down well. I didn't think it would since we're drawing, but I honestly think we can win this game. Dernley finds DJ Alamo surely this time. No. We're going very defensive. I was tempted to go more attacking. Gooden doesn't win the header. Petit steps in. He's on a book and he needs to be careful. Grizzly wins the ball. Godden. Looks downfield. Casdemir brings it down. DJ Alamo once again into the channel. And he's been brought down. It's a penalty. That one looked harsh. It's our second penalty of the game. Can he score? We have the lead. 10 men Buxton have the lead of this game. DJ Alamo finally gets his second goal. He should have had five or six in this game. Greg Green goal has been absolutely incredible uh, this game for Kettering. Unlucky for him, but we have the lead and now we need to see this out. We're going to ask for focus for the final couple of minutes. We've got two additional minutes here. And that is a huge win. That is a huge win. Um, that was a game that... We didn't particularly struggle in. Um, Gregory was absolutely incredible. Fair play to him. 24 shots in that game for us. How many did we have on target in the end? Uh, 15 on target. We scored three. That's 12 saves from Gregory. Including one from the penalty spot. It looked like we were going to get hemmed. Generally missing the penalty. Kirby being sent off. But that is a huge win for us there. Kirby is banned for a match. Um pick up the second yellow card we've been fined for picking up the six yellow cards we need to look into that uh but yeah that is such a huge win for us puts us sixth in the league uh after two games a couple of teams still to play chester playing scarborough one of them will probably go in ahead of us um, in their game and our next game will be the fa cup second qualifying round and orchestra i think yeah, I think that's what we'll do in the next episode, which will be Wednesday. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, it's been interesting. Unbeaten start of the season. Perhaps we should have won two out of two. Um, on another day, we could have lost both of them. So entertaining start of the season. I'll see you on Wednesday for that. A uh, couple of games. See you then. Bye-bye.